Let, let's Rewind. let's do this. Let's take a pause really quick on favorite moments. What do you guys think would have happened in the pre? Let's say there's still three movies, a prequel trilogy, but Qui Gon doesn't die in a Phantom Menace. Does he kill Maul? Does Obi die, or do they all live? Let's just say I Maul think dies. They all live, and it's a lot more boring. I mean, it was Someone it was talked go. about. It was talked about yeah. in Master and Apprentice. You know that that basically Obi Wan would have he he would have been basically rejected by Qui Gon, mm-hmm. and Qui Gon would go on to train Anakin, and Obi Wan would either find a new master because um, he wasn't he was not going to get promoted, but just everything that happened in that moment, he got promoted to promoted that's the wrong word but you know what i mean <laughs> yeah uh, yeah and i think it just would have been a lot more mellow it would have been super mellow and then i think um it would have ended with palpatine being executed or arrested probably so, more likely arrested. <laughs> so you think if, if if he lived there'd be no way it could fit in continuity like it would break it if qui-gon lived i think it would change yeah, everything I think definitely because cause I also think that Qui-Gon would have been there for uh, Anakin when he was dealing with his mother, when he was uh, being, you know, having these feelings for Padme. I think Qui-Gon would have actually, like, helped him go through that. Absolutely, man. Yeah. When it was just yeah. like, I mean, must if- ignore that. That's not the Jedi way and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can look at Obi Wan and see he was raised by Qui Gon. So I guess if Qui Gon had trained Anakin, Anakin would have ended up more like Obi Wan and less like Darth Vader. Yeah, and I mean, the most important thing to Qui Gon, it was something that uh, Avaros and Qui Gon were both kind of tinted by um, by Dooku was the prophecies and the Force visions. Mm-hmm. He was huge into the Force visions, and so if Anakin yeah. starts having these visions about his mother, Qui Gon would have been like, "Let's go." Like we gotta get something mm-hmm. done. Let's go. Right. Yeah, would have completely Qui-Gon changed everything. Qui Gon yeah. would have assumed the role of the father in that case, which would have really changed the dynamic. Mm-hmm. Maybe we wouldn't have Darth Vader if Qui Gon uh, lived. Right. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think so. And, and even if yeah. Anakin did have the visions of Padme dying, like I do think because, like you said, Qui Gon was all about prophecies and would have actually like talked about this stuff. He would have actually went to him and yeah. say like mm-hmm. how. How do we, how do we prevent this? How can we stop this? Um, instead, with, you know, Obi Wan, where he's like, um, he didn't trust him, mm-hmm. didn't trust him with that knowledge. So. Yeah, 